Hey, what's up guys? I want to show you guys what a week's worth of growth looks like on this premium ryegrass. So far, it's not too bad. I've got a couple of thin spots I've got to deal with. I want to do a little bit more seeding over the weekend, but you know, that's just due to a lot of the birds that we've had. There, there have been so many birds in my yard and it's happened to me the last two years. The birds just eat all the grass seed and it's just crazy. So anyway, I want to take you guys around, show you guys what it looks like. I want to give it its first mow. We'll check out the stripes afterwards. So overall it looks pretty good, but you can see some of the areas here. They're kind of thin where the birds just ate all the seed up. So we're going to give that a little bit of attention. So that's why I kept in our 10 pound, 10 pound sack of seed that we're going to throw down all through here and try to help get that to come in before we run out of time. You can see all the birds over there. I'm talking about little babies everywhere. So yeah, I mean, overall it looks really good. It's come in pretty thick and nice, but just got to come back through here with some seed and hit some of these open areas. Cause it all looks good right now, but once this Bermuda grass goes dormant, it's going to be a bunch of dead spots. We just want to make sure we get all this covered up. So you can kind of see right up here, it's good and thick like it ought to be. Then over here is real thin. So we're going to take care of that, but it's been a week, it's getting really tall, so we need to go ahead and give it its first mow. And that's what we're gonna do tonight. So it's early, but we're starting to get some stripes. That's what I love about this perennial ryegrass. The stripes are just fantastic. But now it's, it's mowed down, you can really see how thin we are. We've got to overseed a lot of this in here to get it to come in correctly. This side over here is not too bad. It's a little better. Stripes are a little thin, but that's because we're still on baby grass. They're not gonna thicken up just yet. So not bad for the first mow. So I'm hoping we can get in here with some more seed and thicken this up before we run out of time. Right before November hits. But you can see in here, it's just so thin. And so once all this goes dormant, all this dark green Bermuda goes dormant, you're gonna see a lot of brown in there and that's what we wanna to try to avoid. So ideally, when you have a good overseed, it turns out like this. You can see how nice the straps are, how thick the grass is. And that's what you wanna see. So something I wanna show you too is, you know, I said I've had big problems with birds, but when we get down here in this Bermuda and I've started to dig around in it and look for the seeds, there's no seeds here. That's how I know the birds have just eaten every bit of it. So that's how we know that the seed's just not there. So we've got to do a little more overseeding. I've got 10 pounds of seed to throw down and that should really help this fill in some more. All right, so it's been about a week since we started filming this project and we had some cold weather hit us. So that kind of put a delay in it, but this, the grass has grown in actually pretty well. It's come in a lot better this week and we still have some bare areas. So what my plan is today is I've got 10 pounds 
of seed left over and I've gone ahead and covered those in a seed coat and we're going to go ahead and put that down in just the bare areas today and we're going to rake that and brush it in as best we can and, and hopefully we can get to germinate before we run out of time but uh, our temperatures are starting to warm up again and we should have a couple two three more weeks before it really starts to get cold here so I think we'll be able to make it and I'm looking forward to hopefully this all filling in real nice and and looking really good. I'm, I'm real satisfied with the results. It looks pretty good, uh, considering we were too late, two weeks late in the season to get started on this. It's, it's turning out well. So anyway, let's go wrap this up. Let's go get some seed out here and uh, let's see how we can make this turn out. I know it seems strange pulling the spreader back and forth, but I found that it drops seed a lot more evenly if you pull the Scott spreader backwards. Like I mentioned in the first video, we went around and put seed around these edges one more time. Alright, so we got that 10 pounds spread out, so now we're just going to go try to rake it in this time a little better, and then we're going to get the brushes out, brush them in, and that'll wrap this up. We'll, we'll start to water it, you know, pretty heavy this week, and hopefully it'll all germinate before the birds get after it, but I think it'll turn out pretty good. We didn't rake everything in on the first seeding video because it just doesn't seem that effective to me. As you're raking, you can see the seeds fling around everywhere. You might think the brushes fling the seed everywhere as well, but it doesn't seem to. Since the brushes are wider and thicker, you can see it spread the turf canopy open and allow for the seed to drop in. You can clearly see a significant difference in the amount of seed that was sitting on top of the lawn. So whenever you're doing an overseeing project like this, there's different seeding rates that you can go with and I chose to go with the putting green seeding density rate which is 30 pounds per thousand square feet. So I've got about 2300 square feet out here in the front so that's where I got my 60 pounds from. And that all has to do with how dense the, the seed is and how dense the growth is. Because if you go with a lower rate, say you know 15 pounds per thousand I think is like a fairway rate. It'll grow in and it'll cover everything, but when you mow, what'll happen is you'll see a lot of the uh, dormant Bermuda underneath there. And since we mow with real, we mow kind of low as it is, that's why we need that real thick density. And so that's why I do 60 pounds of seed around here for the 2300 square feet that I have. So just keep that in mind whenever you're chopping around for seed, because you know, the generic seeding rate out there, I think it's like 15 pounds per thousand square foot which doesn't usually amount to a whole lot of money as you guys spend on seed, but really if you want to look real thick and nice, like you would expect on a low mode turf, you need to go with that higher seeding rate. But guys, we got it all uh, brushed in, we got it all raked in, and so hopefully the birds won't get it this time, and hopefully it'll germinate before we run out of time here. But guys, I just want to thank all of you guys that have subscribed and dropped comments. I've really enjoyed talking with you all. And if you haven't already, go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. That's going to do it for this one, guys. We'll see you in the next one.